Hey, it's Pete with GCI Turf. Hope you're having a great day. You know, we've been talking about biostimulants and dirt and been wearing your tail out talking about that stuff. So we're going to talk about something a little bit different today. And this is fun. I've been waiting on this all day long. I've been pumped up waiting to show you something. I'm telling you, I've been doing this for years. It ain't nothing like after a hard day work or a hard week at work, and here I am coming home, and I get to look at that right there. It's just, that that gives me a sense of pride that, that I have worked hard on that yard to get it looking like that. So when I get to come home and I know today's going to be the day that I get to cut my grass, I'm telling you, it's just something about that that turns me on. So, hey, it ain't nothing like coming home from a hard week of work. And I get to spend a little bit of time in my yard, whether it's windy or not, right? Because, see, it's a little bit more than just mowing for me. You know, it's not a chore. It's not a job. Uh, somewhat of a responsibility, yeah. But, uh... It's actually an enjoyment for me. Now I know you're saying, well, Pete, you own this lawn care company. Don't you cut grass all the time? Well, no, I don't. Matter of fact, I can't tell you the last time I did cut grass within my company. Now, you know, I know a lot of folks get a kick out of that, and hey, I do too. But as you grow your business, sometimes you gotta let guys take care of that for you, and hey, God's good. He's been good to me and blessed me so that I can grow this company to where I get to do some other things other than have to mow a yard. Oh, but hey, something I do absolutely love is mowing my yard. It is my stress relief. It is my release from work. I get to put on my little headphones there, forget about the world around me, listen to some to some good, uh, you know, praise and worship music. This this praising the King, and man, I just basically get get my worship on out here while I'm mowing. Just me, that mower, and Jesus. Look at there. I did get my bed's edge the other night. I rented one of those bed edgers. nice and clean that looks. I'll take it, rake that dirt back and I'll put off the pine. And then I'll put all my pine needles in here and boy she's gonna be sharp in. Oh my goodness. I was edging my beds and it was dark when I was doing it because I ran out of time and I had to get the bed edger back. And look, are you kidding me? I forgot to make the turn and just went straight here. <sighs> Dang it. Now we, we're talking about something a little different today. And if you notice this fella's yard right here, it's green. I mean, it's pretty much a solid color, uniform green color. He, he, I don't think he's put any fertilizer out yet, so it's not jumping out of its out the dirt yet. But you can see it's green. Well, look at the difference. Well, my yard's green and white. I mean, green and light green. I don't know what color you're gonna call it. This is called striping. Striping a yard. Now I know there's hundreds and hundreds. Of videos and all kind of people giving uh, details on how to stripe and all that and every single one of them I've watched to I don't think anybody's ever said anything wrong and I'm just going to elaborate on all that so I've been asked a million times Pete how'd you get those lines in your yard 
I said, well, that's called striping, is what that's called. Now, I, I know to a lot of you, that's not new. It's not rocket, rocket science. But I'm gonna give you my two cents on striping. Basically, you need three things to stripe a yard. The first thing you need is a very good, healthy, thick stand of turf. And obviously, I prefer tall fescue. Not taking anything away from any of the other turf types, but in my personal opinion, I feel like tall fescue stripes harder and better than any other turf grass. And if you don't think the same as I, that's completely fine with me. The second thing you're going to need to stripe a yard is a beast of a mower. So technically, you don't need a beast of a mower. You just need a mower. But for what we're doing today, we're going to use a beast. Hey, the last thing you need is simple creativity. God give you that brain for some a lot of reasons. But hey, you can use that in your yard. to give your yard a really cool look. So even though you have these three things, there's something a lot of people tend to forget about. It's that thing right there. So hey, what are you talking about, Pete? Well, this is what I'm talking about. That sunshine makes these stripes in the yard stand out more than if the sun wasn't out. You can mow the yard and actually stripe it, but if that sunshine isn't shining in your favor to show off those those lines, they're not going to show up quite as well. Let me show you okay. what I'm talking about. Right here, I'm using this Tar Heel basketball as a reference point. The sun is at my back right now. Let's walk over there to the road and look back into the sun. All right, so you get my point. See there? Now let's talk about, see the stripes just don't show up as good. We know they're there, because here's one, here's one, and here's one. We know they're there because we were on the other side and we saw them. Let's talk about why that is. Now typically these lines would be straight, uh, but we're, we're gonna do a series throughout the summer about striping and how to do different designs in the yard using creativity using natural things that are already in your yard to dictate shapes that you create we're going to talk about all of that i'm going to really get your creative juices flowing in your yard okay so what happens here is i mow and i'm going this way when i go down i turn around in the road and come back down this pass the dark pass here i go down the light pass turn around go down the dark pass that's how you get this effect is by rotating your mowing patterns if you mow and you just keep mowing in a circle and mowing in a circle and going out as you mow it just it doesn't happen you have to create this pattern with your mower and what you're seeing here is as that mower is going this way it is tilting the turf ever so slightly one direction. So this turf is tilted that way. And when you come down, the turf is tilted back toward us. Now, obviously, if you got on the other side, it's th the mower is tilting the grass the same way every single pass. It's just your viewpoint of it is different because I'm looking at it with the grain and against the grain and the reflection of the sun creates this look remember we just went over there and looked back this way and the sun isn't creating that same reflection because of the angle the sun is at now if today was a real yucky cloudy day you would see these lines but you would not see them nowhere near as pronounced they it just don't work the sun is the key. For those of you saying, hey Pete, you know I got a great stand of turf. I got the sunshine. 
I've got a creative mind, but my mower just won't strike. Well, be patient with me because I've got a very good option for you right around the corner in our next striping video. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Whoops, look at there. I'll have to get me a little, let's see if I can find him. Look at there, watch this. Organic weed control. Okay, Pete, talk to me about creativity. Okay, God gave you this amazing, amazing mind. Do you realize how powerful your mind is? Even as tiny as mine is, I can come up with some of this crazy stuff and get the attention of thousands of people. So I know if I can do it, you can do it too. Now I'm gonna use this Japanese maple as an example. Now, uh, and I need to make this tree ring a little bit bigger and I'm gonna show you step by step how to do that when I get to that point. But for now, use this as an example. Let's say you have a tree in your yard and you have a ring around it and it's a, it's a symmetrical circle. You can start your pattern off of that tree. Mow, mow around it. When you get out here, you turn around, go the opposite way, turn around, opposite way, and you end up with this type of pattern. Now, since I don't have a tree in the middle of my yard and I wanted the bullseye right in the center, I'm gonna show you how I started that. Now, we're gonna go up in the sky with the GCI turf drone, and we're gonna watch this mowing right here and I hope it helps just kind of pay attention to how I'm turning around, the lines I'm using, and this is really important. In order to make these stripes uniform, I use the entire width of the deck. It's a 52 inch deck. This is pretty much a 50 inch cut. I may let it overhang about an inch on each side, but that's real important to get the overall look and appearance. You don't want a little skinny line, a wide line, a wide line, a skinny line. Now we're gonna, we're gonna do some of that type striping later, but we're gonna use two different size mowers when we do that. But if I want the yard to be uniform, I'm gonna maximize my deck width of my mower and have at it. All right, so in case you're wondering what actually tilts the grass over, we have to go down here. And you see this little flap right here? This is what actually tilts the turf over. So the grass, you come in this way and the grass, it catches like this and mashes down on the turf and kind of barely tilts it forward. Now, this is a right ZK and this comes from the factory with this little striping kit, I guess if you may. Uh, they make aftermarket ones for all different types of mowers. Now something real cool and real special, I've got something on the way and I'm gonna show it to you on the next striping video.
hope you liked this video. I had a lot of fun making it, showing you how to do this stuff. Now, when we make the next striping video, it's going to be a little bit because what happens is when you stripe the yard this hard, you got these really dark lines. It takes a little bit to kind of retrain the grass so that the, the next set of stripes you produce show up. So we'll give it about a month and then we'll come back and I'll show you a different pattern. See, I take pride in my property. I take pride in what I do. I like for my property to stand out. So hey, if you get a kick out of this kind of stuff and you like it, like, subscribe, and share. Because hey, every time I see that subscription number go up, hey, all you're doing is putting fuel to the fire. See, I ain't done yet. Man, I got so many tips and tricks and little things that I've kind of tweaked along the way and learned how to do things my own way, and I can show all that to you so that your yard can look just like this. And hey, thank you again for watching. Get your stripes right. Oops, where's it at? Right there it is, look. I nailed that irrigation head when I was uh, doing, my, doing my bed edges. Oops.